Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. We are now in lecture 8, Distributed Database Management Systems, DDBMS Part 5. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe the distribution, transaction, performance and DBMS transparencies and also describe the fragment, location, local mapping and naming in distribution transparency. The definition of DDBMS states that the system should make the distribution transparent to the user. Transparency hides implementation details from the user. We can identify four main types of transparency in DDBMS. The first one is distribution transparency. It allows management of a physically dispersed database as though it were a centralized database. Transaction transparency means it will ensure database transactions will maintain distributed databases integrity and consistency. Performance transparency means no performance degradation due to use of a network or platform differences. And for DBMS transparency, it hides the knowledge that the local DBMSs may be different and is therefore only applicable to heterogeneous DBMSs. Let's take a look more on distribution transparency. It allows the user to perceive the database as a single logical entity. If a DDBMS exhibits distribution transparency, then the user does not need to know whether the data is fragmented or the lo location of the data items. If the user needs to know the data is fragmented and the location of fragments, then we call this one as local mapping transparency. So that's why in distribution transparency, we have three different sub-transparencies. The first one is fragmentation transparency, the second one is location transparency and the third one is local mapping transparency. In fragmentation transparency, you will not know fragment name or location name. In location transparency, you know the fragment name but not the location name. However, in local mapping transparency, you will know the fragment name and also the location name. Let's take a look at this example. In this example, we have employee table. It is being divided into E1, E2 and E3. E1 is located at New York, E2 is located at Atlanta and E3 is at Miami. If you are in fragmentation transparency, you will not know the fragment or location name. Hence, if you want to find employees with salary less than 10,000, this is the query that you need to do. Since you only know employee table, then the query would be select all from employees where salary less than 10,000, then you will get the result. However, it is a little bit different from location transparency. Since you know the fragment name E1, E2 and E3, you need to do query for each fragment and combine all the results from each fragment by using union operator. Select all from E1 where salary less than 10,000, union with select all from E2 where salary less than 10,000, union with select all from E3 where salary less than 10,000. Then you will still have the same result as the fragmentation transparency. For local mapping transparency, since you know the fragment and location name E1 at New York, E2 at Atlanta and E3 at Miami, you need to do query for each fragment and its location being stated and combine all the results from each fragment by using unit operator. Select all from E1 not New York where salary less than 10,000 union with select all from E2 not Atlanta where salary less than 10,000 union with select all from E3 not Miami where salary less than 10,000. Basically, all of the uh, distribution transparency will give you the same result. However, different kind of implementation depending on what kind of distribution transparency you are using. Besides fragmentation, location and local mapping transparency, we also have naming transparency and replication transparency. Naming transparency means DDBMS must ensure that no two sites create a database object with the same name. And for replication transparency, the user is unaware of replication of fragments. They doesn't need to know this kind of information. So that's all for now. See you again in the next lesson. Thank you.